Hi, my name is Jane Newcomb, and what we're going to do today is go through the pen tool. And I have three exercises for you that you can download. One is curves, one is shapes, and one is paths. And what I'd like to do is go through each one of them with you, the first one being curves. And this is to familiarize yourself with the pen tool. Now you'll notice this is what you'll see when you open the file. Notice the layers. You have a drawing layer and a template layer. The template layer is locked and you'll be working on the drawing layer. Now if you go over here to the pen tool, you'll see that if you hold this down, you have a tear-off menu, which I did. Click on this and you can tear it off. And I have one up here already torn off, but just to show you how I did it, you just hold this down and click and drag your cursor all the way to the end here, and that will tear off. Two tools I want to bring to your attention that are very important. One is the selection tool and the second is the direct selection tool. And these are the two tools you use to move and edit anchor points. Now you'll see that there's directions for each one of these items here and I'm going to go through them each one at a time so that you can practice going over them and over them until you get more familiar with the pen tool. So first I'm going to blow this up and it says click line using the direct selection tool. Now the direct selection tool is a hollowed arrow and it's very important you select that one. And if I click on here it'll activate this line and you'll see two handles and little anchor points. And these are the little teeny air, um, squares here. And they're hollow which means they're editable. I can click and pull this out. I can click on the handle and change the curve and using my direct selection tool I can edit a line or a path. When I go to my direct, my regular selection tool that's dark you'll see that there's a bounding box around it and when I click and drag I move the whole item itself. I can also click and drag this box and make the item bigger or smaller now if I wanted to just edit that anchor point here, you notice how I can't do it. I just It moves the whole box when I click and drag on that anchor point. Notice how it's filled in. So I have to deselect by selecting anywhere outside the box and then selecting the direct selection tool. Click on it. Click and you'll see the different handles. I can move those around and I can edit it. So what I want you to do is just to play around with this first one with the Direct, the direct selection tool and the regular selection tool and see the difference and get the feel of that. It's very important. Now I'm going to move over here to the curve and this is basically how you work the Bezier curve. First you want to select your pen tool. You can either select it in this toolbox over here or the tear off bar. So select the pen tool and do what it says. Select and use the pen tool to drag from anchor point to red dot. So here's my anchor point. Click and drag. You don't see anything happen right now. But when you go to the next anchor point, it says to B, drag to red. Click and drag and you have your first Bezier curve. Then go to your next anchor point. Click and drag. And that's as simple as it is. Now just watch. If I want to deselect I'm going to hold my command key down, click and deselect. And there is my path. Now let's try that again without these anchor points just to show you what happens. I'm going to click and drag, same directions just to get the feel of it. Click and drag and click and drag. And that's how you make your Bezier curves. And you'll notice the different parts of the Bezier curve. You have the anchor points and then you have the the little handles so I'm going to go to my use my direct selection tool and when I select on this you'll see these little handles and I can edit them as I wish so practice that for doing your Bezier curves we're going to move down now to the stem and this is a little tricky but bear with me First of all, you have to select this, and we want to change this uh, curve here into a point. So we're going to 
first select it and then with my selection key I'm going to go up here to my direct my convert anchor point tool that's one way you can do it I, I, I we better stick with this press command uh, or an option you really all you need to do is select the command key and you'll see a little plus sign so I'm going to click and pull it over to the red dot and you that curve becomes a point so let's try that again I've selected the item and I'm going to hold down my and I'm in my direct selection tool hold down the option key before you click and drag so that you see a little plus sign and we're going to click and drag that down to the dot then down here we want to change this point to a curve so we're going to use this tool the convert anchor point tool click select it, it looks like a little carrot and then you want to click and drag to the right and there we have a little curve and if I want to go back and make it a point I just click on it click and it turns back to a point so that's it takes a little getting used to but just remember that this convert anchor tool converts it from a point to a curve or just click on it and it changes back to a point and this one too I can use this convert tool to click and drag this back here and then I can click and drag it back so I can also use this convert tool to swing this diagonal to swing this handle to the right there so practice that a little bit